One person was killed and two others were injured as unidentified group of men opened fire at the headquarters of Russian online retailer Wildberries in Moscow on Wednesday, representatives of the emergency services told local media. The office is located not far from the Kremlin. Commerçant newspaper reported with reference to Wildberries that Vladislav Bakelchuk and his bodyguards attempted to illegally enter the Wildberries office. Law enforcement agencies have taken the necessary measures, and the situation is now stable. The incident follows a merger dispute within Wildberries. The company announced a merger with Russ Group over the summer, forming a new digital trading platform named RWB. According to law enforcement agencies, a group of 20 to 30 men began to break glass at the entrance to the business center. In response, gunfire ensued. Police are working at the scene of the attack and the area has been cordoned off. Students of the journalism department of the Moscow State University, located next to the business center, are not allowed to leave the building for security reason. Wildberries founder Tatyana Bakelchuk described the situation as an unsuccessful attempt at a hostile takeover and also asked law enforcement agencies to take control of the situation. Serhiy Zgurets, Ukrainian military expert and CEO of the Defense Express Media and Consulting Company, notes Ukrainian forces are advancing in at least three areas of the Kursk region. Over the course of a month, the Russians have really amassed forces and started counterattacking in the Kursk region. Now we are at an interesting stage when Ukrainian troops are conducting, in my opinion, the second phase of the operation in the Kursk region, responding to the Russian offensive. The enemy, using the best trained units, approached and captured the village of Snagist, and in some areas began to advance. I would single out one settlement located to the east of Snagist, Lubomovka, which is 5 kilometers from the road from Koronevo to Sudza. This is a logistics route that we also use to maintain Ukrainian troops. Now the enemy wants to break through to this route, so it has concentrated significant forces there, commented the military expert on Espresso TV. According to him, a couple of days ago, when the Russian forces launched an offensive, the Ukrainian army countered. Today, there are at least three areas where the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing, the Glushkovsky district, a little west of the Koronivos Nagast area. That is, the settlements of Veseloy and Medvishai, which are just to the rear of the Russian group that is advancing along this section. This is an important moment when the enemy is trying to hold our advance without additional reserves and complicate our logistics. On the contrary, we are creating significant threats to the Russians in this area, using our potential. This means that the situation here will be quite dynamic. We have the forces and means to continue surprising the invaders, and on the other hand, to put them at an extreme disadvantage in this area of the front," summarized Serhiy Zgurets.